I met you when you were just a lost boy. A young savage with three feathers in his headband cradling the idea that growing up was just an option and not a requirement. And I, in the heat of a summer night dressed in blue reminiscent of Wendy in the Disney movie we've known to ring true, you stole me. Grabbed my heart like that apple from that witch in another movie and took a bite. You sunk your teeth so far into me I started to see a future I didn't know if I was ready for. We spent nights that turned into days back into nights finding each other's second stars to the right in hopes that we would always find our way back home. You taught me how to be strong and use a part of me I was unfamiliar with, my imagination, so that maybe, maybe, I could use it to muster up the idea of love and the promises you carved into the night like the stars we so desperately tried to find. You told me stories of how you'd fought Captain Hook and the times you'd smoked from a tobacco pipe. Your source of flying high didn't come with the help from a little fairy, but from a substance clothed in the same green color. And I thought you, with the innocence of a young man and the wisdom of a grown man, and I was lost in between two worlds of what I knew and what I was learning. I became so engulfed around the mass, around the gulf, around Neverland, that I was too blinded to see that we could never have a future. You made a decision that you would soon pay for, and knowing this, you still pursued my youth with the innocence of a savaged man. You made the grown man decision to steal a car in the middle of the day, thinking that you wouldn't get caught, and now we're four months deep and you're three months locked up, and I'm three months shackled. Shackled to the idea that I would wait for you in Neverland. And if you wanted to play Peter Pan, you should have known that your shadow represents where, you're, where you've been. And even if you happen to unglue yourself from it, it will still follow you.